Hey, welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to teach you how to ride flats. Okay, so most people fall on cat roads because they don't have enough pressure into their board or they're not edging. So that the forces of the snow will react to the board or make the board react, which can make you catch an edge. So the first thing we're gonna practice is pressure into the board. So we're just gonna drop our hips and push down with our legs. So the slower that we drop our center of gravity, the longer we can push into our board. But you can only do it for so long, so we'll, we're going to do it in again and again in like a pulsing way. So you're pushing into the board, your center of gravity comes up, and then again you push back down and see how long you can continually push down into your board. Let's try that. So when you're pushing into the board, you can gain speed. And once you have speed, it's easier to edge. So if you want to engage your heel edge, think about pulling up your toes. And if you want to engage your toe edge, think about standing on your tippy toes. So when you edge the board, the board's going to want to make a turn, which isn't very helpful if we're trying to go straight. So what I recommend is to counter lean the edge that you're engaging. So if I'm on my toe edge, I am keeping my body straight and I'm leaning it over the center of my board over top of my heel edge. And that's going to help to steer the board straight instead of making a turn, but still being on an edge. Whereas if I'm on my heel edge, I'm leaning forward onto my toe edge, the opposite edge that my board is edging. So that way we can carry our speed, our edge can cut through the snow, and uh, we can make it through the flats. <laughs> Okay, so now that we are gaining speed on the cat road, we're edging, we're gaining speed, now we need to think about our turn shape. So we, really, we want to do really wide radius turns that are narrow. Look well ahead of you and to the other side of the run to help make this shape of turn. Now once you start going too fast and it becomes too difficult for you to keep up with this turn shape, then you need to know how to pivot and slide the board. I have a great video about pivoting. You can watch it right here. Highly recommend you check it out. It's going to help your overall riding. But now I'm going to continue going down this cat road. I'm gonna start by applying pressure to my board. Once I build up speed, I'm going to edge, and then I'm going to counter lean my edge, and then I am going to try to make this turn shape. And once I go too fast with that turn shape, I'm going to pivot my board to slow down. So now that you have those basic techniques, we can try something a little bit more advanced. So now we want to use our feet independently to torsionally twist the board, 
like so. See how this toe goes up, that toe goes down, and like that. So if I'm regular footed and I'm going down a uh, flat road this way, I am going to keep my back foot edged, but I'm going to reduce the edge on my front foot by pedaling my front toe down, but keeping my back toe up. So by keeping the second half of my board edged is going to help cut through the snow, which is good for stability. But then when I pedal this toe down, it's going to straighten out the turn that my board wants to do. If both feet are edged, the whole board is going to want to turn. So this is another way to counteract the turn that the board wants to make. And then vice versa if I am on my toes. So if I'm going down this way on my toes, I can pull up my back heel to edge and then reduce the edge of my front foot by pushing down my front heel. Back heel. I didn't change that one. Now I'm going to change edges. And again. So that was my tutorial on how to ride flats. I gave you a few different techniques that you can practice and try. So don't forget about either applying pressure to the board or having the board on a consistent edge. That is really gonna help reduce the dangers of catching an edge. If you liked the video, please subscribe, like, comment. If you have any other questions or anything else you want me to make a video on, let me know in the comments and I'll see you next week. Thanks.